how to add a gradient, a very quick gradient, to a clip in DaVinci Resolve. I'm going to use the Fusion tab. So just go over here to the Fusion tab, click here, just down here, and you'll notice you get this, Median and Media Out. Well, what you can then do is add a merge, because I'm going to merge the background and the in. So let's just go over here, click here, and drag. I'm just going to put it in near enough in the center there. Drag that out a bit. Now I'm going to add a background. So just go here and here's the background and drag and there you have the background. But at the moment nothing's interacting. So what you need to do is go here and I'm just going to go to this background, click from here and drag over. And I'm just going to drag it into here. So just here and now you see it's connected. And I'm also going to do the same here as well. So I'm just going to deselect that bit and I'm just going to drag it over here. And again, just click there and I've got that connected. Now, of course, you can see there's no connection from the merge to the media out. So I've just drag this over here and there you are. OK, at the moment, you can't see anything. What you need to do now is the merge here. I'm just going to go over here to apply mode and I'm going to change that from darken and maybe go multiply and you can see you get that. The reason being the background is still set to solid color. Well, I need to change that. So just go over here to the inspector and you can find the inspector here. And instead of solid color, I'm going to go with gradient. So gradient selected. It's a very basic gradient. Now it's a pity there's no way of storing an asset or a gradient. It would be nice if there was a drop down with gradients, but unfortunately it doesn't appear to be. And you can just change this gradient. So let's just change it. Just move it there. You can see you move that. And you can also change the red, green, and so on. But also what you can do is you can hover over the gradient, click here, and add another stop. I'm just going to change that, maybe go there. And you can see you can create some quite interesting gradients very quickly. You can also go down here to the repeat. And I'm going to go with ping pong. So click that. Now you've got this this gradient across here. Well, what you can do, you can just simply just drag this. And as you drag that, you can see what happens. Because of the ping pong, you've got this effect. You get all these lines. And the reason being, this is linear over here, gradient type. Well, I'm not going to go with that one. I'm going to go with radial. And I can reposition this. And so maybe I might decide, you know what, I want it like this, more extreme, or maybe I want the center. Let's drag this over here. And and so on. So you can just move it around, reposition it. Unfortunately, it's a sort of two has to be moved. Well, OK, I've got this. Well, what I can now do is again, I can go back here to the merge. So instead of this, I've got multiply. I can go through color burn and you can see you can get different gradient effects very quickly using this and go here to pin light and so on. But also what you can do is you can tweak the color. So I'm just going to drag this out. Now I'm merging this one and this one into merge one. But also I can add some color correction as well. So just go over here. Here's the color corrector. So I'm just going to drag this over and I'm just going to place it there. And I'm just going to drag this here and then drag that there. OK, so I've got that. Now I can go to color corrector and I've got all these options now. Obviously, I'm going to just tweak it slightly so I can move this around. You can see as you change it, it changes obviously for the whole thing. It's not just changing the gradient, but you're just changing saturation and all those sort of settings. Now, if I wanted to change just the gradient, obviously I could change the gradient, but I can again just get rid of this one. I'm just going to delete this one. And instead, I'm just going to go over here again and color corrector. And instead of this, I can move this to this. And I can drag this here. OK, so now it's between the background and the merge, this color corrector. And now I can just change this so you can see I can now change the color of the gradient universally. But it's not changing this, the actual clip itself. All going in to this merge over here to media out. And now you can just go back just to the edit and you've got that. And of course, you can go back into Fusion and tweak it, modify it, etc. Hope you found this of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Bye.